Operation Husky. I was assigned to the 504th Parachute Infantry. On the 11th of July, we were supposed to be dropped over the southern coast of Sicily. But we got hit by flak and had to bail out. Way behind enemy lines. Only three of us made it. If it wasn't for the local resistance, we wouldn't have had a chance. So when Mussolini's soldiers came into the town and started rounding everybody up, we decided to return a favor. Se nessuno parla, quest'uomo morirà. No, 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 per favore, no. All right, take the shot. Corporal, this guy's saying there's more troops headed this way. Terrific, all right. You and Williams take out that machine gun next, then find the prisoners. We're gonna need every man we can get. Naku, thank you! Ain't getting through this way. Looks like we... You got a grenade, Scaletta. Watch it! Put a grenade through the window! Galetta, you alive? Yeah, just about. Well then get off your ass. Grab all the ammo you can carry. This might be our last chance. Whoa! Look at this shit. On the stairs! Hey, grease boat! Come on, assholes! Must have the prisoners upstairs. Clear the second floor. Scaletta, you take point. Right Got him. I think. Shit. Looks like we're going this way. Come on. di stare attento. Fregatene di fare attenzione, fai ciò che ti è stato detto! Ma che diavolo sta dicendo? Chi si crede di essere? Un'offerta da fare! Ma è davvero Don Calò?
There it is. Empire Bay. Tell the truth, you miss it? Hey, there's a bear shit in the woods. Not like this place ever done me any favors, but anything's better than... Foxhole. It's with this shitty weather. They're saying this is the coldest winter on record. Papers say it's gonna keep up like this for weeks. Don't worry though, a drink will warm you right up. How long's it been since we had a drink together, Vito? Two years? Almost three. Tony Sicelli's party, right? Come on, Vito, come on. The last drink we had together was right after your romance funeral. Right before you shipped out. You remember. Ah, uh, five minutes. We're already talking about my deadbeat father. Can we change the subject, please? So tell me, pal, what was it like over there anyway? I kept reading the papers to see what was going on, and you know how much I hate read? Yeah, I know. You guys kicked Mussolini's ass, right? Uh, sort of. We had a little help from a guy named Don Calo. No shit, Don Calo. I heard of him. Really? You bet. I know guys like him over here, wise guys. You work for them, you set. You fuck with them, you die. Nice to see you've been busy. Yeah, and I heard you got a medal, right? From old man Patton himself. Whoa, so you're a real war hero, huh? <laughs> and then what? You screwed a couple of Sicilian broads and came home? Yeah, right. <laughs> the old country. Over here, you can screw anything with a heartbeat. No one gives a shit. What a country. Here's to the U.S. of A. and to having you back home. Salud. Ah, salud. Chin down. So how come you're back? They let you out early for good behavior? Nah, I took a bullet a couple months back, spent some time in the hospital, and now I'm on leave. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you gotta go back? Yeah, <laughs> what'd you think? The war ain't over yet. You don't wanna go back, do you? Nah, of course not, but what can I do? One minute. Wait right here. Hey, Giuseppe. It's Joe. Remember uh, last week, you know... The guy, the guy's name is uh, Vito Scaletta. Thanks, Giuseppe. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, listen up. It appears that your injury is much more serious than it first appeared, and the doctors say you can't fight no more. What? Oh, whoa, whoa. did you just... Like I said, I know people. You get all the official paperwork tomorrow. When it comes to the right stamps and signatures, it's just a question of money. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> Isn't that a bit risky? It's me that can end up in a slammer, you know? And how am I gonna pay for it? I got it covered. Think of it as... Here we are. All right, thanks. Keep the change. Hi, Mama. I'm back. <laughs> you should get some sleep. Your room is just like you left it. <sighs> I'll see you two in the morning. Sleep well, mio bambino. This ain't gonna cut it. I gotta find a place to stay. So you have to go back soon? Actually, uh, looks like I won't. Uh, Joe's taking care of it for me. Joe! You want to get into trouble again? Mama, would you rather me go back and get shot again? No. Exactly. No. Joe probably saved my life. Promise that you won't get in any more trouble with that, Joe. You know, your papa used to work for this man at the waterfront named Papa Lardo. He's in the union. You could talk to him, 
work hard like you were your papa. Talk to him. Please, promise me you go talk to him today. Okay, Mama, okay, I promise. Grazie, Dio. I d Come on, Junior. I'm gonna take you to school. Oh, tough guy, scaring a woman, huh? Come on, show me what you got. Vito, please, you're making it even worse. Stop, stop, please, Vito, what are you doing? Please, Vito, this isn't your problem. Yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of here. You're gonna be sorry. The both of you. What the hell was that all about? I'm sorry, Vito. We didn't want to bother you with this. Bother me? Bother me with what? Come on, tell me what's going on here, Frankie. Right before he died, Papa borrowed money. A lot of money from a loan shark. Thinking he'd get a better job and pay... Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, uh, do you know where Joe Barbro lives? <laughs> this is a bad time. <laughs> nah, we ain't getting out at all. Come on in, let's talk. Uh, you disgusting pig. I picked up these broads on my way back from the store. I've been waiting for you. All right, girls, that's it for now. I got business. Stop by tomorrow, okay? We'll pick up where we left off. Chop, chop. Come on, Joey. Why do we have to stop when we can all have fun? The fun's over, baby. Later, I said. Me and Vito here haven't seen each other for a long time. We got a lot of catching up to do. Looks like you're doing okay, Joey boy. Not bad. I tell you, that little Spanish broad is fucking wild. You made enough cash for all this in the last three years? More like the last three months. I barely had time to furnish the place. Three months? Holy shit. <laughs> so you thought about what you're gonna do now? You said you were gonna introduce me to that guy Giuseppe. No, no. I meant, you know, the big picture. When you was over there, didn't you think about what you was gonna do when you got back? No, not really. Well, besides the usual, you know. Find a nice girl, settle down. Whoa. Hey, there's gonna be plenty of time for that shit later. Right now, I'm gonna make sure you live a little. Hey, uh... Thanks again for that thing with the discharge papers. Hey, all I do is make a phone call. You can thank Giuseppe when we go pick him up. Hey, uh, you think I could, uh... What? Drive, Vito? The roads are icy. You ain't never drove a car before. Joe, I was driving almost the whole time I was over there. Yeah, but this ain't no tank, Vito. This is one of the nicest cars money can buy. I didn't drive a tank. I drove a Jeep. What the hell's a Jeep? 
It's, uh... Never mind. It, you gonna let me drive or what? All right, all right. Here's the keys. Just be fucking careful. All right, when it's cold as fuck outside, you gotta give it a little more gas than usual. That's the pedal over there on the right. I know, Joe, I know. Okay, now make a right here. Then just go straight for a while. Hey, whoa, 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 slow it down a bit. No need to get pulled over for no reason. Hey, Vito, you know what time it is? It's daytime. How the fuck should I know? It's time for you to get your own fucking car. Yeah, I'd love to if I could afford one. Who says you're gonna pay for it? You know, you wasn't kidding. They really taught you to drive over there. At least something good come out of it. Ooh, get a load of that baby. Nice, that's a 42 Jefferson. Beautiful car like that, it'd be a shame to smash the window. You should grab yourself. Welcome to Giuseppe's General Store, a thief's paradise. You name it, he's got it. Hey, Giuseppe. Uh, we need a set of lockpicks, too. That we do. And guess who's paying for them? Grazie. But you can test it right now. Here. Take this lock. You just need to insert the pick into the lock and lift all the pins. You use the wrench to hold the pins one by one. When all of the pins are set, oh, damn it. turn the wrench and the lock she opens. Easy. See you around, Giuseppe. Say Goodbye, Benedict. Vito. Easy, huh? Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. I do it all the time when I lock my keys in the car. Okay, you still feel like snagging that car? You kidding me? Absolutely. Well, here's your chance. Possible stolen vehicle. Step on it. 10-4. Vehicle theft in progress. Close. In pursuit of suspect. Hell, it's not over yet. Lose him. Quick. Roger that. Looks like we lost it. So how do you like the car? Not too bad. I think I'll keep it. All right, let's go find ourselves a body shop. They provide the kind of service <coughs> you're looking for. Hey, that don't sound cheap. Don't worry about it. I got it covered. Just find any body shop. I know the guy who runs it.
Hey, good afternoon. What can I do you for, pal? No license plate. <laughs> for you, no problem. There you go. Gave her a couple of tweaks. Hey, you looking for a new set of wheels? Take your pick, pal. Right away. Thanks a lot. All right, next you should introduce yourself to Mike Bruski. He'll probably have some work for you. All right, where is he? He owns a junkyard over in Riverside. You can't miss him. Hey, who's that guy back there? What guy? The guy at the body shop. Oh, Tommy. He's my buddy's nephew. He's kind of quiet, but let me tell you, the kid's some hell of a dancer. Saw him at the old dance hall in Easter Bay a couple of weeks ago. He had all the broads going nuts. Do I detect a hint of uh, jealousy? Are you kidding? I don't need no dance moves. I got charm, my friend. Here, I'll give you some of my lines, so maybe you won't have to spend so many nights with Rosie Palm and her five sisters. Hey, here's one. Hey, is that a mirror in your pocket? Because I can see myself in your pants. Here, I got another one. If I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, this one never fails. Hey, baby, that's a nice outfit. It'll look good crumpled up at the foot of my bed in the morning. And this works for you. Oh, here, here's a good one. Hey, do you know the difference between sex and conversation? No? You want to go back to my place and talk? You got problems, you know that? How about this one? Why don't we go back to my place and play house? You be the door and I'll slam you. Oh, that was bad. Hey, when you measure seven soft, you don't have to be good with words. You get my drift? Okay, now make a right here. 